guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought uh, I would be doing a video that's a little bit different than what I usually do. I never really do like sitting down talking videos. Um, I'm not like super comfortable with them, but I want to try to become comfortable with it. So that's why I'm uh, filming this video. The video that I'm filming today is a quarantine tag. Tags used to be something on YouTube where uh, you answer a bunch of questions about like a certain topic so this one is obviously about quarantine it was started by Alex Weiss Adapt, I'm going to link her channel down below I really like watching her videos so definitely check that one out as well okay let's get started with the videos oh by the way um, I'm in my garden and we have like a pond with fish um, so there is a pump uh, for like oxygen and stuff uh, and it's making some noise I hope it's like not annoying in the video but uh, I'm going to try to film this anyway. Let's get started. Question number one is how are you trying to maintain sanity? I think uh, what I like to do when I start to feel like a little bit insane is I just like to go outside in the backyard and I just lay down on some grass. Uh, or I play the ukulele and I sing that helps as well. Or listening to music always helps me. So those are things that I do personally to try and stay sane. Question number two, are you quarantined with anyone? Uh, yes, I'm quarantined with my two parents, my two older brothers, my three younger sisters, and my two lovely cats. Uh, I'm very uh, grateful that I'm not quarantined alone because I am an introvert and I like alone time, but I think I would be going crazy really quickly if I didn't have any social interaction at all. And I spend a lot of time with my sisters playing games, uh, working out sometimes, and with my siblings, we play basketball in our garden. So I'm very happy that I'm not quarantined alone. Question number three, show and tell. Uh, show off anything and everything you've made slash accomplished during quarantine. I didn't like make much uh, when we're talking about like art or anything but I did like dye my hair pink uh, and that video you can watch it here I've made some cookies but I haven't like taken pictures of those I made a bunch of videos which you can watch on my channel so you can go check out those and I also I did lots of photo shoots that's something that I have accomplished um, during the quarantine that I'm proud of so uh, my Instagram is also linked down below and I'm going to write it on the screen uh, so that's something I've made as well. Last thing you purchased. Um, oh, so uh, when I was a kid, I used to have like this rug in my bedroom, um, and then after a while, obviously it got old. It got it got a little bit disgusting, so we threw it away. Um, and there's app Vinted that I'm not sponsored by, but I wish like Vinted hit me up. Um, we can like do a collaboration. Uh, and uh, I saw the same exact rug on Vinted, and it said it was in a perfect state, so I bought that. Um, and it's currently in my room, insert footage here. So that's the last thing that I purchased. It was actually only like 5 euros, so that was super great. Next question, um, the last person you texted, oh, let's check it out, I think it's my sister. Yeah, uh, I sent her a TikTok and I said bro goals and I'm going to insert the footage of the TikTok here. It's the last person who texted me, so it was my sister. She answered and she said, Oh, I'm she's super cute and true. Who is the last person you video called with? Um, it was a teacher from school. Next question. What are you most excited to do when all of this is over? I think going on self-love dates again in the city. I really like uh, doing those, like listening to music and buying vegan cro croissants and like seeing a movie or going thrifting maybe. Um, I did those from time to time, like those self-love dates, uh, and I can't do them now. Uh, I'm like stuck at home with everybody. I'm really looking forward to doing that again. Do you have any quarantine goals? Um, yeah, like get a uh, back on track, like mentally. Uh, my mental health has been uh, pretty bad before this, and then in the beginning of quarantine it was uh, very bad. 
and now it's better again and it's really like my goal to come home a little bit in myself and uh, like figure all that stuff out and like be more happy and I think uh, actually like being at home slowing down is doing me really well most consumed snack or food um, I make a lot of avocado toast so I will put like my bread in the oven and then I will like mash an avocado with some vegan mayonnaise and guacamole spices and then I mix it up like put some lemon juice in there and then I put it on my toast and it's chef's kiss very good highly recommend that's what I've been eating a lot of uh, I also eat lots of bananas <laughs> last picture in your camera roll okay let's see it's actually a screenshot of the questions for this uh, tag but before that it's this cute picture of my kid who's like licking his hand <laughs> and sleeping in my chair what is your daily average screen time okay this is gonna be very like confronting because I'm on my phone a lot uh, more than I wish I was uh, but let's check it out okay my average screen time is uh, seven hours and one minute Oops. what are your most used apps or websites um, definitely uh, Instagram wait I can check that on my phone as well I don't know how to find it wait yeah uh, my most used app is actually huh? wait where does it hold on a second aha uh -huh. most used Instagram then YouTube then uh, a game called my home where you can like design uh, homes and rooms and it's much fun um, <laughs> then another game bubble shooter because sometimes I like to watch Netflix and then at the same time like play games um, then uh, photos then episode uh, maybe I want to do episode videos it seems fun um, and then the camera app share your best TikTok dance um, so I have TikTok but uh, I don't post anything on there because uh, my two sisters who are twins have a TikTok it's at Melissa and Sarah you should definitely go follow them and um, sometimes I'm on there as well and sometimes I learn TikTok dances but I only do it with them so here I'm going to insert my favorite TikTok that um, I'm in on their account listen to okay uh let's see radioactive by imagine dragons last smooch Ooh, um i think on valentine's day what has been the worst part of quarantine i think um like the the beginning because uh well like just after the beginning the the very beginning i was like oh my god yay no school uh this is fun uh and then after that like i started getting tons of emails for school and i was really stressed out and like my mental health was acting up so like maybe like the second third week those were like the worst um, but it's better now what has been the best part of quarantine who I think like if we don't talk like time but the best thing what I like the most about it is that I, I can sleep a lot like my sleep schedule is absolutely fucked up like I go to sleep super late and then I wake up at like noon or later um, but I have been sleeping like over 10 hours almost every night so that's really great I feel less tired best movie or TV show you watched recently Ooh, um, I finished Glee <laughs> Glee was super long uh, and I started it while like last year and I was like not that into it and then during quarantine I started like binging it and uh, I ended up really liking it <laughs> um, so I like that one obviously also Drag Race is my all-time favorite um, yeah, I think those. I've also started rewatching How I Met Your Mother, which I really like. It's super funny and just like low key. I can just watch it without thinking too much. What's the last game you played? So, like I said, uh, it's this game called My Home, but I also play episodes sometimes. What is the meaning of life? Uh, <laughs> if you know, let me know. Um, I think the meaning of life is finding meaning in life. In Dutch, uh, it's I, I can say it well in Dutch is the zin van het leven is zin hebben in het leven, which means the meaning of life is uh, being excited about life actually. So I think like the meaning of life is to 
spread as much positive vibes as you can and be as kind as you can and have a positive impact on like the people and the world around you uh, I think that that is the meaning of life but I also think life is kind of meaningless but like nothing really matters if you could go anywhere right now where would you go okay so I'm against flying in planes because it's bad for the environment but if flying in planes was not bad for the environment I would go to Hawaii and lay on the beach and eat mangoes and swim in the ocean naked and like yeah you know as plentiful so on Instagram that's where I want to be uh, or I would go to like a cute Greek or Italian sunny village and like meet with local people and eat food with cute local people and uh, swim in the ocean as well and like have picnics in sunny fields and um, actually a lot of those things I can do at home I can eat mangoes and I can be in the sun so I'm very grateful for that but I would like to do it like in a cute sunny place <laughs> or in a forest last Google search okay so actually I use Ecosia most of the time because um, it's like a search engine that plants trees, so that's cool. My last Ecosia, uh, let me check. Search, oh, it's what do ducks eat? Because I had a discussion with a friend of mine. Uh, he said that ducks eat fish, and I was like, no, they don't. But apparently they do, so the more you know. Last event you attended, ooh. Whoa, great question. Wait, I'm gonna check my camera roll because I don't know. I think. The last event event that I went to was uh, Veggie World in Brussels. I went with my mom, my sisters, and like this boy, um, and it was really nice. But it was in November, I think. Um, no, that can't be true. Like I went to parties between that and the quarantine. I don't know if that counts as events. What do you miss the most about life before the pandemic hit? Um, like being. Uh, independent more like right now I'm at home and it has many like uh, advantages for me oh, it has many advantages for me but um, I'm also like very restricted to uh, like my parents rules and stuff and um, before the pandemic I could do more what I wanted I could go where I wanted I could uh, eat more what I wanted and right now like I can do that I think that I miss that the most what is something new you've tried or done during this time? Well, so obviously I bleached and dyed my hair pink. What else? I haven't done much new, many new things. Like, I'm doing this, I'm doing a sitting, and, sitting down and talking video. Um, I have been posting more on YouTube. Um, yeah, and TikTok dances. I, I thought it was cringy before and now I think it's just a fun app that people can like enjoy and have a good time on. Are you reading anything good? Well, so I have been reading this book, uh, but I haven't like been that like into it. I read just like a chapter from time to time, uh, but it's also because I've read it before and I can't really go to any libraries right now because they're obviously all closed. So that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, no, I haven't been reading that much actually lately. What are you grateful for today? I'm really, really grateful that um, I have a garden because many people are quarantined like either in the city or they don't have a garden and so like they can go to a park or to a forest or to nature or to the ocean or whatever so um, they haven't like been in nature for a long time and I actually uh, live in a house with a pretty big garden um, which I'm super grateful for because I have uh, lots of pretty trees and I have some grass to lay down lay down in if I want to um, and I have some nature literally at home so that's something I'm really grateful for. What was the last place you've gone to that isn't home? Usually it's my parents that do the grocery shopping but uh, like a bunch of weeks ago uh, I went grocery shopping so that, uh, the last place I went that wasn't home was a grocery store and it was, let me check, it was on March uh, 28th and today is uh, April 25 so like it's almost been a month whoa that's crazy what is something new you've learned during quarantine so before I bleached and dyed my hair I looked up a bunch of stuff about that so that I don't wouldn't like uh, fuck it up so I learned more about doing hair um, I learned some TikTok dances because my sisters taught them to me um, 
I learned that slowing down is good. I learned that um, human connection is underrated, but also kind of overrated. I don't know. I learned that solitude is also underrated and nature is severely underrated and that sunshine is heavenly. What's the last YouTube video you watched? Uh, let me check. It was uh, the Quarren Tag by Adabs, like the video that I'm doing right now. Uh, and before that I watched a video by Miles Chronicles confronting my mom about my coming out. So Miles is this really cool person, you should all go follow him. Show your OOTD, okay. This is uh, a top that I got secondhand for free from someone. This is, these are dungarees that uh, I bought from a sustainable store here in Belgium called JBC. And uh, these are some rings that I've collected over the years. And then this, this bow used to belong to my grandma or my aunt, I'm not sure. Don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh honey, though our friendship ceases from now on. ridiculous thing you've done during quarantine working out no um, <laughs> I haven't worked out a lot I worked out a little bit um, I've done some cardio uh, sometimes a little like some ab workouts um, but like maybe the most absurd thing was like completely transforming my hair or also staying up until 4 in the morning to watch Netflix and then sleep in until 3 that's not like the most healthy sleeping schedule so Maybe that. Um, <laughs> what does your last phone note say? It says, new soul. I don't know what that means. Oh, I think it's a song I wanted to download. A fear. Well, obviously I'm scared that someone I know and love uh, gets sick and dies, which I hope doesn't happen. So, stay inside, don't meet up with your friends. Stay the fuck inside and like, yeah. Save some people, a wish. I wish that this situation actually does something good for like society and that uh, people learn from it because right now things are changing and like the world is shifting and people are forced to try a new way of living like slowing down, being around your family, consuming less and I think uh, many of those things are really great and I really hope, I really wish that when the quarantine is over that people will still be flying less and that people will still buy less and respect nature more and yeah I really hope that the quarantine can have like a positive impact on the world in as a whole and that was the last question of this tag um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and getting to know me a little bit better and that it maybe like distracted you a little bit or gave you some kind of good feeling I tag anyone who wants to do this um, like please go ahead and do the video as well all the questions will be uh, written in the description down below and as I said all credit for the idea goes to Alex Weiss thank you so much for watching if you like this video uh, you can like it and subscribe if you haven't and like leave a comment and that's it uh, I hope you have a wonderful day bye